I wonder if there's some alternate universe where I'm actually happy and I'm successful and things actually go right for me because I'd like to live that life rather than the life I live right now where everything I seem to touch turns to shit. Oh, Proudy, what have you done now? Yeah, this is just going to be a disastrous episode. I can already sense it. In the last episode, we took on Napoli away from home in the Italian Cup and uh, decided to lose the game 2-1, which, uh, on the basis of things, wasn't really the worst result we could have had because I did have a title challenge on my hands. You know, just wanted to push us further ahead in the league. Now I've got to go back top of the league again. Yeah, it's it's not gone well. Our recent results have been pretty shocking after that Napoli defeat in the Italian Cup. Uh, we've lost three in uh, six games, so that's uh, very good. Uh, Empoli, uh, we lost to a uh, 2-0 away from home. Uh, and then we also lost our home unbeaten record to Chisena by three goals to one. Probably one of the worst defeats I've ever experienced on Football Manager, which says a lot since I experienced that very much daily while I'm playing the game. But we do get two big wins, especially over our rivals Avellino away from home. Uh, but we do come into the game against Cremonese away. We do need to start winning because uh, we've dropped down to second in the table. And uh, I think you might have remembered in the last episode, we had a bit of a big lead over the rest of the teams. Yeah, that's been cut out now. And now we're uh, very, very dangerously short of uh, dropping out of the top two. Brilliant. So we managed to miss out on signing Rabinho on deadline day as he decided to join Barnsley instead on 32 grand a week. I mean, I could only offer him a max of five grand. So that may or may not have swayed the decision there. So instead, we decided to sign Wayne Rooney on loan for the rest of the season and he's going to be a rotation option. Uh, but we also had to sign another player because Roberto, one of our strikers, has gone to Fiorentina on loan for the rest of the season. So we've signed Will Grigg. Will Grigg. I mean, this has become a meme squad now. Heck, we might as well call it the meme machine. Oh yeah, and we've also signed Joel Osoro from Sunderland because, you know, he's a very high prospect and I wanted him to get out of Sunderland because who wants to go back to Sunderland anytime soon? Bruno Gaspar was sent off in the 3-1 home defeat against Jusena and in the training session after that game, he then broke his foot, which means he's out for the rest of the season. So at least he's got a nice extended holiday. There were a few murmurs coming out of the Benevento dressing room that apparently the bad run of form had affected the players quite badly and that I was under threat of losing my job. I mean, do they not understand that we are near the top of the league? I know we've lost three of the last six games, but even the best managers have lost three of their last six games. Pep Guardiola is not one of them. Um, not, not the best example I'm going to use there. I may have figured out one of the reasons why I can't manage at the top level and it may be because I don't have the Continental Pro license which uh, supposedly all the top managers have. I mean, I can't wait to not use it next season when we're not in Serie A. One of the journalists at my press conference also told me that I'd used 27 players so far this season and asked me why the figure was so high. I mean, probably because most of my players are shit and I have to keep replacing them because they keep underperforming when I need them to perform. Or maybe it's because I keep getting all these injuries. Like, that, that could be a reason too. And speaking of injuries, Amato Cicciaretti is also now out injured of eight weeks, which is uh, fantastic news because, you know, bad run of form. My top goal scorer is now out injured. Oh, this cannot go any better. Well, we do move into our game against Cremonese away from home. And with our bad run of form, I've decided to change things up and uh, change the formation. So this week, we've gone with 5-3-2. Uh, Capuano, Gionbe and Marone will play in the back three. Uh, Di Chiara and Ashley Young makes his first start for us also on the right wing back position. Uh, and Tuba Akpom also makes his first start as Amato Cicciaretti is out for pretty much the rest of the season. And he will be supporting Patrick Catrone, who leads the line. And obviously, we got Will Grigg on the bench and Wayne Rooney on the bench as well. Both players not quite uh, firing away so far. Although Will Grigg has scored for me, so hopefully he can score in this game off the bench. Hopefully is a very strong word in that sentence. Okay, it's uh, fair to say that we're not on the best run of form at the moment. Uh, we've bottled being top of the league. Uh, we're now second. And if we lose this game and results go against us, we're going to end up in fifth position. Fifth. I was first. 
last episode and by quite a distance and now I could end up as far down as fifth. I mean, this game's a joke anyway. Okay, the team talk's gone well, but I mean, we need to start actually winning games because that's the biggest problem we've had so far in this run of form. Ever since we lost to Napoli, we've lost four games. More games we've lost in the run of form we've had than the whole season put together. I mean, I even lost my unbeaten home record as well. I mean, am I Pep Guardiola? Well, I wish I was. Proudiola, Guardiola. Same sort of ring to it. But I've got uh, some an inexperienced right-sided line. I've got Chuba Akpom playing for his first game of the season. His debut pretty much from the start. And I've also got Ashley Young having to play right wing back because my two right wing backs are injured or suspended for the whole season. Actually, how can you get suspended for the whole season? Probably just doesn't want to play, actually, under me. Uh, we do have a chance, though. And uh, Keane... And Paul is 1 0. We've taken the lead, and it's the sort of debutant. Sort of. Is he a debutant? Can you call a debutant a debutant if he hasn't actually started the game for you since his low move from Arsenal? Fantastic finish, though. I mean, Brexit football is very finest. I, you know, I keep saying it, it's going to happen here at Benevento. Brexit Benevento. Well, we did have another highlight, but it's uh, obviously ended pretty quickly, so. They're going to give the ball away. Uh, we are on the attack. Can we get a second? I mean, if we get a second, this is ridiculous. Keen. Catrone! Oh, the, the game froze. But it's 2-0! We're going to win a game on a live com. I might as well just live com the rest of the season because it seems we play better on the live com than we do off camera. I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe the cameras is the reason we're winning. Maybe my team want to show that we're a good team after all. Who knows? And also, I don't actually have my top goal scorer uh, for the rest of the season either. So, a little bit of a problem there too. We're going to have to find some new goal scorers. But, I mean, I've got two. Uh, Tuba Agpom and Patrick Catrone. It's, it's the strike force of dreams. And Moaz Aquino. I mean, that's not his name. I, I've just worked out how to say his name and I've called him the wrong name again. But we're 2-0 no up at halftime. Can we play these lot every week? Because if we could, then I'd be top of the league again. But we're not top of the league. Uh, we are one point off top spot, which is... Uh, and Perugia losing, which is good news for us because it means that we are one point behind Perugia, who are top of the league, even though they shouldn't be. Well, technically, I should be. For some reason, I've just signed a meme and I'm going to have to play the meme. Um, I can't bring on the meme. I can bring on the meme. Uh, we're not going to send on Wayne Rooney just yet, though. No, I, I think that's probably a step too far. Be a bit unfair bringing back the Manchester United 2013-14 squad. But talking of goals, we're 3-0 up. Lucas Evangelista fires it into the back of the net. It's an easy win. Easy win. It's probably the easiest win we've had all season. I'm telling you now. I finally found the formation. It's 5-3-2. Easy stuff. I'm telling you. I am telling you. This is the team that is going to take us up. And we're not going to bottle this league. And we're going to send on Wayne Rooney. I just send on Wayne Rooney. Give him some fitness. I mean, we're 3 no up. The game's over. I mean, he can't really lose us this game, can he? Can he? Uh, if we could get a clean sheet, that'd be nice. Uh, but Ashley Young has uh, won the ball back. And we're on the attack. Chuba Akpon with a fantastic ball to Keane. Surely it's not going to be 4. It's Will Grieg. It's 4 nil. Will Grieg. He's on fire. Someone put him out with a fire extinguisher. 2016's calling for his jokes all over again. But what a finish by the Wigan man. On loan from Wigan. I mean, hopefully we don't have to say Wigan anymore in this series. Because saying Wigan is a bit depressing. Like Wigan. That's that's not a very nice place, is it? Benevento. Now, that is a nice place. Well, I hope it's a nice place. It bloody will be after our 4 0 win. We've been bottling games recently, but we sorted out the run of form. Will Grigg has scored. Marza Keane has got three assists. It's probably the, as I said, the easiest win I've had all season. Now, I'm going to live com the next game so we win that one as well. Because I think I found the formula. And it's live comms and 5 3 2 with Ashley Young playing as right wing back. Not, not really how I thought the season would go. So